Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Pandoing. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a few different exercises showing how you combine pen with watercolors. For this first exercise, I'll be painting with watercolor first, and then I'll be adding some pen on top of it after it dries. The goal of this first project is just to play around with watercolors and loosen up a little bit. It's a great project to use as a warm-up or if you're not sure what to paint. I'm just playing around with different washes and mark making. I'm not thinking about what I'm creating, I'm just sort of moving and seeing what happens. For this painting, I'm painting on hot press paper. I usually use cold press for my paintings, but I thought it'd be fun to try something different. The hot press paper is a lot smoother and my paint just glides around. I'm gonna create some marks over here, some dry brush marks over here, and then I'm gonna allow that to dry. Now here's my abstract water doodles. And after things dry, I'm gonna go on over it with some pen. And with the pen, we're doing a similar process. I'm just going to be creating marks of different shapes. So here I have some dash marks. And on this side, I'm going to layer some squiggly marks. Again, I'm not really thinking about what I'm creating. I'm thinking a little bit about the composition, but I'm not worrying about whether it's going to look nice or not. For line and wash paintings, I recommend using water-resistant pens. My favorite to use are Micron pens. I'd also recommend getting them in a few different line weights. Creating some scallop shapes over here. Maybe some jagged marks. And here I'm using a white acrylic pen. And then I'm going to layer some more paint. I'm not totally in love with the style of painting, but it was a good warm up to try out different brush marks and washes. For this next line wash piece, we'll begin to be starting with a loose wash. This time I'll be using warm tones since the last time I used cool colors. This project will be similar to the last one, where we start with a loose watercolor wash and then allow it to dry. But instead of layering abstract doodles on top, we'll be creating a representational drawing. And again I'm using hot press paper. Is quickly moving around my brush. And then here's the dried result. And then here's some flowers I drew in Procreate on my iPad. 
After printing the moth, I'm using a light pad to transfer the image onto my watercolor paper. I created a flower design that paired well with the asymmetrical wash. By using the light pad, I can choose the composition. After transferring the drawing with pencil first, now I'm going to go over it with pen. For this flower, I'm going to be using a few different line weights. I'm going to add some thin lines in the middle here, and then I'll add some thicker ones on the outer edge. I'm tracing over some of my lines, but some of them I'm freehand drawing. I'm going to create some stippling dots. And then there's the final results of my flowers. And then for this last exercise, we're going to be starting with a drawing first. So here's a drawing of a door, and then I'm going to start lining it in. I'm going to keep the drawing pretty sketchy looking by using looser lines. I like using line wash drawings to get ideas down. I don't draw architecture too much, so this is good practice. Now I'm going to loosely paint this in. Maybe some green over here. And then some gray. And after that dries, I'm going to go back over with some more pen. I'm going to create some bold lines to really make this area stand out. And now I'm going to go back in with some more watercolor.
and then backing with some more ink. And then again, when you're adding the ink, make sure your previous layer is fully dry. And there's how the door turned out. And then I'll go over some other drawings that I created. So here's a painting of a nut hatch I created. For this piece, I started with a quick pen drawing, and then I loosely filled it in with watercolor. And then here's a similar drawing, but with a different background wash. These line wash studies can be a great way to test out different compositions and colors. After creating a pen and wash sketch, you can create a full watercolor painting with it as well. I actually prefer the line wash version of the nut hatch painting though. And then here's some more line and wash flower paintings I created. So for this one, I started with a loose green watercolor wash, allowed it to dry, and then I created the pen drawing. And as for these ones, I started with a line drawing, and then I loosely filled them in with watercolor. Then here's that larger painting I showed. And again, on this one, I created a loose watercolor wash first and then drew in the flowers. Then here's a little mushroom study. For this one, I drew out the mushroom and then I painted it in. On this one, I played around with a nice background. So you could create multiple of the same drawing and then play around with different compositions and colors. And here's the last piece, which was the abstract one I created in the beginning of the video. And that's the last painting I'll be showing today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.